Last night, the adventurous young man from Yevla shot the elephant in his pyjamas. This is an ambiguous sentence. Where is, in fact, the uh, elephant in the young man's pyjamas, or is it the elephant that's wearing pyjamas? This is ambiguous. It refers to two males in this sense. Had it been the young woman from Yevla shot the elephant in his pyjamas, then the ambiguity would not have been there because it would have referred to two different people. So, looking at this then, we do the first divide, the subj and the pred. And in the subj, we have an adverbial, last night, and a subject, the adventurous. So, uh, that's the adventurous young man, I mean, sorry, of course, from Yevla. In the predicate, everything from shot, we have the, uh, the predicator, which is shot, the elephant, and now there are two positions for the adverbial which gives it its ambiguity. We have one end position here, and we'll see how this pans out. Let's take the left hand side just to begin with. We've got an adverbial phrase last night, realize, an adverbial, realize is an adverbial phrase, it's a noun phrase, and it's last night. Then we have the subject, which is a noun phrase, and it's a longer one, so I usually then break it up into its uh, like uh, into its functions, and we have a, a determinate different article. The the pre modifier is an adventurous young. They're both adjectives. The head is the man, and then we have a post modifier, which is a prepositional phrase from Yevle. Okay. And then on the right hand side we have the predicator, which is realized as a verb phrase. The verb, because there's one word, is both lexical and finite and shot. And then we have the the object. In, I've written the direct object, but when you have one object, then it's just an object. It's realized as a noun phrase, and it's the elephant. Now, here's where the ambiguity lies. Is it the elephant that you're post-modifying, the elephant in his pajamas? Or is it the adverbial? And if it's the adverbial, then the adverbial is referring to the subject that's wearing the pajamas. So you have uh, in his uh, PJs here. So either you have it uh, either you have it in this position as a post-modifier or as an adverbial. But by having both, you're showing the ambiguity which is involved in this particular sentence. Mm -hmm.